Good morning, brother. Yeah, I got the uh, phone video thing fixed yesterday, so the Lord helped me with that. And uh, good morning, another day to serve the Lord. And actually, I was thinking yesterday, as, as I was passing through the day with him, we have to do very little, brother. He doesn't require much. He just requires us to know that he's with us and to talk to him and uh, think about him all day. And uh, it's actually what he's shaping us, training us t to do again. Um, as in where Genesis started, he's bringing us back to that point. Um, and it's unbelievable that that's the truth. I mean, that, for most of the world it is, <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, so they have to see that our faith and belief shines him, lets him shine through us. And uh, there's a lot of others doing it too. We don't even know him. We won't meet him until maybe later on. And we may never meet him. It doesn't matter. We know they're there. They're out there working just like we are. And it's not how much you do. It's just one thing, hanging out with Jesus, being with him all day. You got a trouble in the day? Talk to him. You get angry at somebody during the day? Go think of him. Because, see, he doesn't hate anybody. He has no anger towards anybody. He didn't, he didn't have that while he was here. Okay. Well, I guess the temple, he was angry there, but it was to defend his father's house. I think we'd all do that. I mean, look at our own, you know. Would we step up and protect our families? Of course we would. All of us would, and uh, that's built in inherent because we were created in His image. So, but He taught, do not, you know, even though we do get angry, we're going to get angry at many things. Don't hold it. Let nudge your mind right back to Him quickly, and then your anger will go away because you won't be thinking of the person and their faults and their and your anger. You'll be thinking of the Lord. You can't. You're not going to be mad at the Lord. <laughs> Brother, some words of encouragement today. And they go along with what I was saying. These thoughts just praise God and thank you, Jesus. Huh? Focus your entire being on my living presence. I am most assuredly with you, enveloping you in my love and peace. While you relax in my presence, I am molding your mind and cleansing your heart. I am recreating you into the one I designed you to be. And that is the one that was in the Garden of Eden. Man and woman. But they got deceived and listened. Same things happening today. As you move from stillness into the activities of your day, do not relinquish your attention, attentiveness to me. If somebody troubles you, talk it over with me. If you get bored with what you are doing, fill the time with prayers and praise. When someone irritates you, don't let your thoughts linger on that person's faults. See, it doesn't say don't get irritated, because we're all going to get irritated, but don't let your thoughts linger there. Gently nudge your mind back to me. Every moment, listen to this line. What a beautiful life. Every moment is precious if you keep your focus on me. Wow. Every moment is precious. Any day can be good because my presence permeates all. Some Bible on support on this, brother, from Psalm 89, verses 15 and 16. 1 John 3, verses 19 and 20. Jude 24. 25, verse 24 through 25, and uh, Psalm 41, verse 12. Praise God, brother. Huh? Okay, now we'll put this up on the internet. If the phone doesn't work, I'm going back to Booston. Yeah. I walked into Boost. It was funny. It was busy. A lot of people. There was one girl at the counter empty, and she actually said, 
you know, motion me, come here. I gave her the phone. She finished. YouTube had too many updates from my phone. My phone got all confused. <laughs> like us, brother. <laughs> we get too much world and we get confused. Get rid of the world. Just sit with Jesus. It works. I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. It's my job. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Brother, love you. We'll talk soon. Brother. Peace.